All right, I wanted to show you something rather funny, actually. Uh, considering the fact that back when I was 15, I was a huge fanboy of Ariana Grande, and as a former uh, huge obsessive fanboy of Ariana Grande, I have to ask you, if you're still a fan of this individual, well, get ready for this. I mean, this right here, I'm going to show you, this is your hero. This is your idol that you're looking up to. So this turns out on this article, this is on uh, Daily News, it turns out that Ariana Grande actually demands to be carried around like a little baby when she's tired. It says in this article, Ariana Grande demands to be carried like a baby when she's tired report. This is back in 2014, but I guarantee you she still does it, does it today as well because, you know, you look at the demands she makes on her servants and on her whatever, uh, they're pretty interesting to say the least. But if you're a follower or a fan of Ariana Grande, this is your idol right here. Watch this. And, and by the way, you say, well, that was that was like almost eight years ago. Do you, think, do you think much has changed? I don't think so, but anyway. says, pop princess Ariana Grande wants to be swept off her feet, literally. The 21-year-old pop star insists on being carried when she's too tired to walk. <laughs> Life and style reports. Quote, her new rule is that she has to be carried, literally carried like a baby, when she doesn't feel like walking, unquote, a source told the site. <laughs> Seriously? I mean, it, it just shows how weak and, and, and shallow this current modern generation has become of, of, you know, 20s, 30s year old. I mean, seriously, I mean, people my age, I'm, I'm turning 21 this year, 110 years ago, somebody in my age would be out in the trenches of Europe, you know, battling in muddy trenches, raining conditions, battling on a, and during World War One. you know, even, even, you know, kids my, from my age, I mean, once you get out of high school, you'd go out and, you know, build stuff, you'd go out and do stuff. But now today, if you don't feel like walking, you got to be carried to your car. I mean, seriously, <laughs> wow. This, I mean, again, if you're a fan of, of, like I once was, this is your idol right here. But it says here, she says she doesn't want her precious feet to hit the floor, unquote. Uh, the, an, in, the insider added, who reportedly saw Grande demand to be carried by her staff while filming a music video and during rehearsals for Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which aired Tuesday. I mean, seriously, really? Oh, I don't want my little feet to hit the floor. So, um, isn't that what shoes are for? I mean, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna wear shoes, you, you know, and you don't want them touching the floor, what? Insane. That's Hollywood for you. That's Illuminati Hollywood. But it says here, but Grande distance has, or sorry, but Grande herself has documented the fact that she has staff members carry her around, and it's not a new behavior. In an Instagram pic from uh, December 2013, she she called being carried, she called being, she called carried, or being carried off the stage, her post ritual, her post show ritual where my feet are broken. In another Instagram photo she posted in March, the pop star is shown wrapped in a blanket and carried by a crew member as another person holds an umbrella over her. Seriously. I mean, I mean, really. And not. And, and by the way, they mentioned pictures. Well, they, she posts this on her own Instagram page. It's not like some kind of person who's like stalking and like trying to expose her. She herself posts this stuff on her on her page, of her being carried around like some like some you know, I don't know what she thinks she is. Some, some kind of royalty or whatever. I mean, seriously, really. Talk about being lazy on top of that as well. But that that's that's Illuminati Hollywood for you. You know, and, and keep in mind, I was a former, you know, obsessive fanboy of our. I, I loved her. I listened, I listened to all of her songs. I had had almost a crush on her. I mean, if I had known that even back when I was a lost person, when I was fan, when I was a fanboy of her, I still would have been like, seriously. You know, it just it's insane. But that's that is again, that's Illuminati Hollywood. For that's the kind of of just weird stuff that comes out of Illuminati Hollywood that these Illuminati celebrities are are, are getting into. So anyway. It's a joke. It's pretty sad. And that's why I don't, I don't take these guys seriously when they talk about, oh, you know, gun control, you got to defend yourself. Yeah, come from a person who can't even walk to her car without her sh without worrying about her shoes getting wrecked or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, that's my that's kind of my rant for the day. That's Illuminati Hollywood right there, all in, in all of its glory for you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.